guys, what is up? It is Alicia. So for today's video, I wanted to do a video showing you guys how to edit more aesthetic videos using Movavi. And if you don't know what Movavi it is, it's a great option for people who want to be famous on YouTube or you want to make your videos more professional. It's an inexpensive video editing software for Mac and Windows so that you're able to edit on whatever computer you have. And it comes with a lot of effects. It has a really easy to use interface. So I highly suggest you guys use it. And that's my own opinion. And it's not the company telling me to say that and so today what I wanted to show you guys how to do was to edit aesthetic looking videos so with light leaks adding noise and color grading stuff like that creating intros so let's just go ahead and get started the first thing I want to show you guys how to do is to do one of these VHS intros so if you guys saw my other video with Movavi where I show you how to make intros you'll see that I did a tutorial on that but I also wanted to show you guys these and what this is, is it's a pack you can download from their website. And basically you can have a different type of VHS intro or an old glitchy intro, depending on which one you want to use. And so I'm going to go with the no signal one here. So when you click on it, you see it plays in the right corner of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it and drop it into my video at the beginning here. And then to edit it, I'm going to click on this pencil and then I'm going to click on the text and I'm able to play around with the text and edit it so that I have what I want. So I'm gonna change it from whatever this says to I editing X. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna play around and see which one I like. I'm also gonna italicize it. And then to resize it, I'm just gonna go here and make it a lot bigger. And then just arrange it, oops, arrange it where I want it. Okay, and then once I have it, I click apply here and I click apply here and when it plays, this is what it looks like. Okay, so next I'm going to talk a little bit about color grading. So that's another part of this video that I really uh, thought was super easy to do. So if you want to go ahead and color grade your videos, you're going to go to your effects tab here and you'll see that they have a bunch of stuff that's featured that you can use. There are some options for noise. You can adjust um, if it looks like a fisheye effect. Um, there's more artistic things you can do, like making it nine by nine, like so. You see color filters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my favorites and I'm gonna show you guys a few of the options that I like to use. So first, the one I like to use is light leak. So in order to use it, you're just gonna drag it and drop it on top of your clip. And you'll see that when it plays, you just have this uh, purpley and red color just going throughout your video and it adds a nice effect. Um, another one I like is Light Leak 16 and it has the same kind of color effect where you see the colors moving around the screen and it can give a really cool effect to your video. Next are noise. So there's black and white and there's color. You guys see that there's a ton of options. These two are just my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop uh, the black and white noise. And so it's a little too much for this clip. I think it just makes it look bad. So you're going to want to click on the clip that you just put the noise on, go to settings and then go to applied effects. And you guys see by dragging this, you can change how much noise you have. And the other effect that was here was the colored effect. So you guys can see it's the same idea that it's like very intense especially if you drag it all the way to the right, but you can edit it so that it's only a little bit and it makes it look a lot cooler. Going back to effects, there's also color filters. So one that I like is Turner. It just makes it very bright and adds this cool color tone to it. You can also choose Vermeer. This was another one that I liked and it makes it look very retro. Uh, if you don't like those options, the color filters effects here, you guys can see you can change it to like even pink if you want. There are a ton of different colors that you can change it to. And then finally, one of my favorite uh, options on here for filters is the VHS effect. So you just drag it and drop it over your clip. And it gives this cool like VHS retro -y vibe to the clip, which I really like because it makes it look cool. So yeah. And again, if it's too intense, you can go ahead and fix it so that it's only a little bit of this distortion effect like that looks really cool if you want to use it in the background of an intro or like b-roll clip so thank you guys for watching this video and if you're interested in getting 30 percent off 
I will be leaving a code in the description and on the screen right here so that you guys can try out Movavi. Uh, so thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.